What's up YouTube, this is your boy Game for Daniel, aka Big D, and today I just want to talk about this 34 inch ultra wide Acer monitor. So this model here is the XV340CK. Uh, it's kind of an old monitor, but it is a 21 by 9 34 inch screen. Completely flat, but you can see how wide it is. In the back here it's a pretty nice entry level monitor um, these suckers go for as much as like three hundred and fifty dollars and um, I actually bought it used off somebody for like as less as like seventy five eighty dollars so it lasted for me for a good few years before it started acting up so the issue I'm having here if you hit this power button right behind it you turn it on blue light turns on the screen lights up you can see it lights up but it should pop up an Acer logo and it's not popping up nothing there was a couple fixes where I would just repeatedly turn on and off the power button and sometimes that would fix it but at this point it's not doing nothing sometimes it will show like static lines at the bottom oh we got some more static going on it only does it when you turn it off and on like it's trying to turn on and I really like this monitor I mean like I said it's a 34 inch ultra wide monitor it does 4k at 144 Hertz at HDR so it does all the next level gaming that you can do on a gaming monitor the brightness kind of sucks on it but it's perfect at nighttime you can adjust the height on it like so so you can adjust it if you want so it's a really nice monitor and I really want to try to get it working so I seen something on I've been looking it up and I've seen where apparently like these monitors it is kind of old the capacitors that they use in here tend to wear out so um, some people said like take like a hairdryer to them and kind of heat up the screen so I'm running out options so I'm just gonna give it a shot see what it does all right so the screen is on power buttons on see you can see the backlight lighting up but nothing's picturing so we'll go ahead and take this hair dryer and heat up the screen and see what it does I don't know if this will work or not but we'll we'll see see nothing yet nothing's picturing yet I've even taken apart this Acer monitor like I've actually fully taken apart I don't see nothing wrong physically inside of it so it's got to be something with the the main board the main motherboard or something but I'm gonna try this eat I'm gonna try this trick to see if it works. I don't know how long I gotta heat it. I don't wanna burn the screen, so that's why I'm moving. I'm gonna heat the vents a little bit. Maybe heat up the inside of it. I've had fixed uh, video game consoles before doing stuff like this. Sometimes it works, sometimes it don't. Alright, so I heated it up for a good 10 minutes. It, I mean, the screen is not hot, but it's it's warm. But i even been still turning it off and on. Sometimes, like I said, that, that used to kind of fix it if it acted up. But, it, nah, it ain't doing nothing. It's still doing the same thing. If you guys have any 
solutions of what's causing this so I can be able to get to the bottom line of it and maybe try to fix it because I really don't want to get rid of it it is a really nice it's probably the most best monitor I've owned you know I, I I've have I have a bunch of Acer monitors this is one of the best ones I own because it just does so many features you know at 4k 100 really fast refresh rate at 144 it also does HDR I mean it might not be a curved monitor but it, it is nice it's it's pretty nice and I want to try to get it working because it's perfect for gaming you know, I'm a type of guy, why get rid of it if I can fix it? You know what I mean? So if you guys have any solutions, what's causing it to do that? Like I said, sometimes when I keep on and off, on and off, it might it might static at the bottom a little bit. It's not doing it now, but sometimes it will. It's like it tries to kick on, but nothing displays on the screen. You'll know if it works, because as soon as you turn it on, it pops up the Acer logo. But yeah, let me know down in the comments what's causing this monitor to do that. Like I said, I know it works, but sometimes it does this, and this is this is the longest time it's done it, though. I haven't got it to picture or anything in months. So, even heating up the screen didn't work like some people said it would. Yeah, let me know down in the comments what I can do this because I hate to get rid of it. I'd rather try to fix it.